the Skunk 2 Pro Series Intake Manifold. We've been lucky enough for that Skunk 2 made this Intake Manifold the Pro Series that as good as Type R could actually exceed the Type R. And of course, with that being said, the cloning started by China and all the other places. And so we're going to talk about the D Series that we ported that's the original. And of course, the China version or the clone. And we can show you guys the difference and what it takes to actually make it work even on the b series we're gonna show you the china clone version and we'll port it just to show you guys what it takes and the necessary stuff needed to do in order to make it work as good as the original one <laughs> Let's start off with the D-Series. Mine was directly ordered from Skunk 2 years ago on a Black Friday sale to save up. And you can see here, we've opened up the entry really good, just like a Velocity stack. And of course, some of you guys may wonder how much opening or how much taper shall we do? Here you go. The picture would show you here that even if you go beyond the physical size of the intake manifold, the velocity stack of an ITB still is bigger. So, you know, bigger, it is always better in this case. Here I painted it black so that the rewelds don't look as bad here on my engine. So this one is already finished and welded up. It's actually on my EG8 four door right now. And of course, after some time, if you guys remember this video, instead of clicking up here, we'll have it in the description below. This is a Skunk 2 China clone. So here. As we started to port the intake manifold, the initial stage is here. We're trying to get the shape good. And you can see there are some sections that could be solved with actually having it welded. But compared to the US version or the real Skunk 2 look, it let me taper it to a really good opening or a port entry that as much as I can. You know, well, I punched a few holes, but it's not as difficult or as bad as this you can see but this could actually be solved and we'll talk about that a little later on how to fix it but for now let's go check and compare on the b series because we got jasper's spare original skunk 2 pro series manifold so what we did was we actually had to order this to show you guys the difference all right just for you guys so when we're done with this hey it's also up for sale so anyways, here we go. You can see, oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. All right. One of the easier things to check if it's a copy or a clone is this part. The entry of runner number one is actually abrupt. You know, from the plenum to the runner, it's like that. And here, we're gonna show you the original Skunk 2 straight up from the US that Jasper acquired will show you the difference. And as we continue this comparison, like the video as this helps gain traction and it gets spread out to a wider audience. That helps the video and us really well. And hit the subscribe button if you know you're liking this because we're going to keep pushing more of good content and technology sharing on our projects and hit the bell will you all right so now let's go with that here we have jasper's spare skunk 2 pro series intake manifold he actually used this initially on his ef and then when we figured out how to develop the manifold even more we had or he had us do his extra type r manifold so this way this one is here for further development and what he has is actually a type r so wait this is the plate of the other skunk 2 intake manifold and now here we'll show you the difference between those two areas the entry of the runner number one you can see here on the china on the clone, it's abrupt, right? Look at this. On the original, Skunk 2, directly from, from the US, of course, it's quite different. And it's actually smoother. So either way, when it gets ported, it gets good. 
Okay, here, we already saw this off, but we just taped it so that we can show you guys both intake manifolds. So remove this masking tape and show you how the insides look. All right, come on, let's get the tape off. All right, there, all right, there. Now, we turn this and show you guys, look. As you can see on the entry, there's a bit of a corner or, you know, abrupt corner on the circumference or on the perimeter of the runner entries. And this is easily ported, so that's no problem. And look, the wall is quite thick, so that's good news for me. It lets me shape it even better or how I want it to. All right. Yep. So now let's show you the other one, the US Skunk 2. All right, here. Remove the tape once again to show you guys the insides. All right. Oops, sorry, sorry. All right. And remember, this is already ported, so this actually looks a lot different, but we'll get to that later. Here, you can see on the original Skunk 2 intake manifold, it lets me port it really good like this. You can see the transition from the throttle. And here, look, the walls, I managed to get it thin as as thin as i can go before punching a hole and you can see the transition from the throttle is pretty good and decent right now let's go back to the china clone as we showed earlier and open it up here you go all right so now we go to the porting bench and see if we can port this as good as the original one shall we all right now here we are we start with the carbide all right yep we start getting the shape really good before we sanding roll Okay, let's bit it up now, a little time lapse, because it gets too boring. So this one, this way it's fun to see how the changes start to occur. And as you can see, we're starting to get the shape really good. All right. And we decided to port this just until like two inches from the entry. This way you can see the untouched areas. And now we show you how it looks first initially before we head to the sanding row. All right. All right, now let's look at it close. As you can see, the corners are softened up with a bit of more curve. This way, it's on its way to being blended nicely. All right, now before we wash this and rinse it with water so that we can go with the sanding roll, you should remember this video, you can, you can check it on the description below because on that video, or in this video, we talk about the runner length entry and actually calculate the harmonics and also including this ITR intake manifold porting, which is kind of similar. And we continue to discuss the harmonics, including the relationship it has with the dyno sheets. So both will be in the description below so you can enjoy it after this. All right. Okay, now here we are with the 80 grit and we actually did a red marker to see or to have the flares in order or like, you know, straight up. This way it's not crooked and we got to clean it up. But then when we spray the ethyl alcohol and soapy water mix, it started to come out again. So that's why you can see a bit of red. We didn't use dye camp. That's too expensive for this. So we just use a red marker. All right. And you can see now. The flaring has gotten really good, right? And see, it's far from how it was when we started, you know? That's pretty cool, all right? You can see you trying to get good and consistent. And later you will see why we just ported the initial first two inches. This way you can see how it is further in when it's unported. But of course, we're gonna finish this innate manifold and you guys should check the SRD Motorsports page, our page, because we'll definitely have good pictures of the final updates of this one when it's all done and good, all right? This is the fun in porting intake manifolds because as you increase runner taper, there's a good chance you turn up 
the volumetric efficiency higher or better and of course this lets you run a bigger cam without losing much mid-range and in some cases that could actually help lack of compression because with the runner airspeed faster that solves that aspect a little bit and you know that that is why when you have to build an engine that lacks compression i know what to do if you if you would just let me port the intake manifold that's not going to be a problem but then again if you have enough compression we're talking about higher volumetric efficiency so either way that's more power without being a gas guzzler so that's the trick right so now let's rinse this with water and head back to the workbench to show you guys let's go now would you look at that yeah see now all the contours are smoothed out or softened so there's no abrupt corners and whatnot even the th transition from the throttle to the number four runner right now let's compare with the picture earlier on sorry i meant the video earlier on and you can see here the entry still has that abrupt corner or the changes direction right from the plenum into the runner there's a corner so we, we rounded that off smoothed it out so that the soft turn so, so that you know there's a softer turn that is more efficient in flow all right and you can see it's so different right and here is the finished one look at that yep now now you know it's gonna flow even better and you can see the contours are rounded off to the smoother opening and of course this is still unfinished so we can still make it look even better but we had to do this to show you guys and here's the reason why we ported the first one and a half or two inches this way you can see the rest of the runner that's not unported you know look i mean that's unported you can see look at how different that is right so when it's ported it's a lot a lot better and you can see here it's tilted up and you can see the runner entries even better and you can see how the runner has a better taper right so this is gonna be way way more efficient than stock once this is finished it's gonna be even more beautiful so you guys gotta check the srd motorsports shop page for that because once this is done this is actually for sale because we just got this to showcase to you guys the differences and look at that that's a good runner entry right yep this is gonna be really really good in performing to any engine from b16 b18 even b20 and i can adjust this depending on on what engine the owner has that will get this right so this is gonna be custom made for whoever is gonna buy it so to conclude getting the skunk to original one and bolting it on is gonna perform really good if it's gonna be bolted on but for the china copy if it's gonna get ported it's actually still good you know but then again the original skunk 2 if you port it is gonna be even even better actually both can be act perfect for whatever build we plan to do or we gonna do because we can actually still weld the bottom side of the plenum and keeping it clean but also increasing the taper extensively and that's what makes more power so check out our shop page because we're gonna give a killer dealer who's gonna get this and of course the links in the description of the video we talked about in the end of this video an end screen